what's really going on. Bitcoin, crypto, and currency currently looking at XLM, Stellar Lumen, price action interacting with some uh, key levels, potentially confirming previous resistance as support as we make our way to some key Fibbit Lamborghini levels. Some engineering robo buy signals have now come into play after some technical support found around 26 cents. Price action looking very bullish in my opinion. If you look at our previous uh, robo advisors uh, suggesting bullish upside on the 22nd of July, we have the buy four and buy two come into play on the same daily candle. And then over the following 46 days, we experienced up to 63 percent in upside um, easily turning a potential ten thousand dollar investment into over sixteen thousand dollars just by sitting around smelling it and if you didn't take profit above at or around that swing high you were able to capitalize on 27 percent in gains if you close your position around 33 cents per xlm when engineering robo suggested bearish downside for us moving forward um, because as we can see when those uh, sell signals came into play uh, in the immediate short term over the following uh, 20 one days here we experienced up to 23 percent in downside uh, before becoming bullish again um, so now after having some uh, very bullish interaction with technical support present around 26 cents the very bullish area of accumulation for xlm that i was suggesting um, upon this kind of move downward here we now see price action plow to and through this key range that um, was suggested by my key level around 34 cents here and the 0.382 fibo rigatoni level uh, 32 cents was suggesting a key level of potential support or resistance for us as we've made our way to it um, now currently interacting with 34 cents as potential support in my opinion so it's going to be very bullish for us if we can continue to find buy pressure around current levels uh, further solidification of support uh, can get me very bullish around accumulating comfortably at current levels however i do i want to point out the resistance present over there at 40 cents all the way up to 41 cents which is the 0.5 fib level and i do believe price action will experience some uh, key resistance there as well and we will likely have to break through and return to that level as support uh, to kind of conquer it and find buy pressure present. I do believe the uptrend very much wants to continue. Once we are free from these levels of resistances, we can uh, more freely experience some upside. However, in the immediate short term, we do have some key levels to plow to and through and then perhaps return to uh, to find support on them. We have the buy one, buy two, and buy four all coming back into play. All three of my chosen robo advisors are bullish on price action. And if you started accumulating when two of our chosen three robo advisors became bullish, you've already experienced uh, up to 16% in upside in just a few days, currently sitting on you know just about 9% in gains. So with all three of our chosen robo advisors bullish on price action i do believe the uptrend very much wants to continue especially with this uh, technical interaction with potential support present and buy pressure does suggest um, the demand for xlm currently and um, you know the bullish incentive that this uh, trend may have um, now, there's many different robo-advisors available with Engineering Robo, so it is key to pick the best three that suit your trading strategy, and once two of your chosen three robo-advisors suggest bullish or bearish price action, we can use that to better determine our entries and exits. And Engineering Robo is not used to determine the exact top or bottom of the market, but is used to decipher the best areas of accumulation and take profit that have the highest chances of success. And at the moment, I do believe with uh, technical uh, support and interaction with uh, 26 cents here, in addition to our robo-advisors becoming bullish, I do believe uh, this is, would be a bullish time to be accumulating XLM, and I can suspect the uptrend will very much continue. Uh, once technical support is found, we will likely make our way toward 40 cents, and when then we will have another interaction with that level. I suspect sell pressure in the immediate short term. Once we have plowed through it and confirmed it as support, I can get more bullish on buy pressure at that level. Now let me know in the comments section down below where you think price action will go. What are you doing with XLM if you have some? Now we're taking a look at Cardano ADA price action interacting with some uh, key levels here uh, due to some unfortunate circumstances I was unable to present this analysis yesterday so if you missed that here is what's going on with price action we're experiencing uh, current technical support around two dollars and 17 cents in my opinion that is looking like a bullish area of accumulation for us we do have resistance present at two dollars and 44 cents suggested by the 0 0.786 FIBA Lamborghini level uh, you know resistance overhead that we will likely have to plow to and through then confirm as support you have another key resistance level of uh, perhaps more significant sell pressure present around two dollars and 84 cents waiting for us as well right now i'm looking at support two dollars and 17 cents suggesting buy pressure for us we also have a very bullish interaction with the 0 0.618 fiba bugatti level one dollar and 92 cents as well so right now uh, cardano is respecting some uh, very nice key technical levels and uh, in my opinion i would like further interaction 
of uh, $2.17 in my opinion. Uh, however, that is very much looking like support. Uh, why I suspect further interaction is because we have three of our chosen robo-advisors currently bearish on price action, which does suggest um, you know, a bullish area of accumulation will present itself very shortly here. Um, as I said, I do believe support is present around $2.18, so buying around that level would be my bullish area of accumulation for Cardano. I can get more comfortably bullish on the uptrend continuing once we have some robo-advisors suggesting bullish price action. If we look at the last time, we saw some buy signals back at the 27th of July around around $1.28. We see the buy two and buy four suggest bullish upside. And then over the following 37 days, we experienced up to 140% in upside. And so if you didn't take profit above at or around that swing high, uh, you were able to capitalize on 85% in gains if you sold on uh, the 10th of September around $2.37 with uh, engineering robos sell suggestions. And so right now, all three of our chosen robo advisors are still bearish on price action as we find support. I'm looking for continued buy pressure along $2.17. Once our robo-advisors have become bullish again, I can very much expect the uptrend will uh, continue. Uh, bullish on Cardano so far, in my opinion, I'm looking at some very bullish support under us, and I would be accumulating around $2.17 until we have broken beneath and confirmed that level as resistance, then in which case I will have some uh, lower targets. Right now, as long as uh, $2.17 is support, I suspect we are making our way toward $2.84. Let me know where you think Cardano will go down in the comment section below, but we're going to swap over to Shiba Inu coin, SHIB against USDT. What do we have here? Some very bullish explosive upside once we were finally free from that resistance suggested in our previous analysis. A quick update on price action where we left off. We were interacting with sell pressure present at 0.0000847. And now here we are, price action currently interacting with key levels up near 0 0.00002234. Knocking off an entire zero uh, for SHIB, which is very bullish for us. Uh, as we can see, we've experienced some very, very bullish upside since our engineering robo buy signals came into play on the 16th of September. Um, you know, if you accumulated at that level, you were able to hold through the uh, short-term downside we experienced over the following couple weeks. And uh, you were able to experience up to... 317% in gains over the following 21 days, easily turning a potential $10,000 investment into over $40,000 just by sitting around and looking at it. And, um, you know, with currently with no sell suggestions in play, you're still sitting on over 161% in profit. I believe, uh, in my opinion, uh, Shiba Inu has uh, far more upside in its lifetime. I do believe the uptrend has just gotten started. We are finally free from a very prolonged phase of accumulation and sideways consolidation and buy pressure between some very key levels. After some, uh, you know, whale accumulation and some fundamental news, uh, certain uh, catalysts came into play, causing for this uh, break upward here. We're now experiencing the first. Uh, you know, signs of sell pressure over the last kind of few days as price action comes back to support. Very bullish for us, in my opinion. What goes up must come down. Every, any, any uptrend requires, uh, you know, retracements and pullbacks toward support uh, to establish, you know, further upside. And so, in my opinion, I'm looking for interaction with any of these suggested key levels here. Uh, at the moment, I suspect resistance present at um, 2355 level. I'm looking for support all the way down at 1960. Um, so in my opinion, price action uh, interacting with that level as support is going to be a very bullish area of accumulation for us. Um, as I mentioned, um, you know, I do believe the bullish upside will very much continue. Fundamentally, the buy pressure is present for SHIB. However, technically, in my opinion, we are very overbought in a very short amount of time. So usually what experiences this abrupt upside is met with, uh, you know, similarly abrupt downside. And so in my opinion, I'm looking for, um, you know, support found at any key level here before the uptrend can continue. I wouldn't be surprised if we consolidate for the next couple of weeks before the uptrend continues. However, uh, in my opinion, I'm still bullish on SHIB until we see some sell signals or some significant signs of, um, you know, a major sell-off. Let me know in the comments down below what you're doing with Shiba Inu. If you have some, you know, are you just letting the price action unfold? Are you trading? Are you going to hold? Let me know in the comment section down below. We're going to swap over to Bitcoin crypto the currency what do we have here price action making its way above the $51,700 resistance level the 0.786 FIBA rigatoni level acting as potential sell pressure um, now uh, acting as potential support for us as we make our way to the next resistance which I believe will be $58,800 per Bitcoin so we do have uh, you know some sell pressure overhead still before we are free to make some uh, very euphoric gains here I do believe the uptrend very much wants to continue if we consider um, you know our third 
chosen robo advisor attempting to become bullish again on today's candle we will need this candle to close to confirm this buy signal however if all these uh, buy signals come into play i very much expect the upside to continue and we can get very bullish on bitcoin as we plow through resistance and confirm that as support um, at the moment i'm looking for a bullish area of accumulation uh, around fifty-one thousand seven hundred dollars per bitcoin if we can continue to see buy pressure at that level i can um, you know suspect the uptrend continuing and we will make our way through this resistance present at um, you know 58 8 so right now still in between a very key range we do have resistance overhead and support just beneath us we have our robo advisors becoming bullish on price action all through this phase of sideways and accumulation i'm never not bullish on bitcoin i've been you know very bullish through this sideways through this downside suspecting the uptrend will very much continue and uh, here we are uh, the uptrend is attempting to continue i suspect we'll make our way toward previous all-time highs uh, perhaps up to the six figure range i am suspecting perhaps a one hundred and twenty three thousand dollar bitcoin uh, before any sort of prolonged um, you know downside is to be expected here uh, right now we're looking for technical confirmations of support at the moment uh, it is very hard to be bearish on bitcoin and um, you know the technical resistance overhead uh, may be less and less significant as we interact with it so i'm still looking for technical confirmations and interactions fundamentally we are very bullish it's never a bad time to buy bitcoin only better times in my personal opinion and i believe we're looking at some of the best times to be buying bitcoin currently uh, because we will uh, likely make our way to and through these levels you know sooner than later the uptrend will very much take off once it is ready we're looking for further technical confirmations of support because we're very bullish on price action with our robo signals let me know in the comment section down below where you think bitcoin will go are you bullish are you bearish is this a bull trap is everybody going to sell at the previous all-time high and we're heading straight to zero uh, or are you going to buy the breakout and we're heading straight to a million dollars thank you for tuning in thank you for hearing my analysis check out engineering robo free with a link in the description subscribe here on youtube check out all the other social media down below and tune in for the next one